Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and uh, thank you for joining me. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and that is two different size ball chains, although that should not be there. Oh well, I'll live with it. So what I want to do is escape, but what I've been doing is pulling black and white paint and since I have enough paint, oh and it's very warm too. Since I have enough paint there to do whatever I want, I'm going to start that way. I'm very tempted to go ahead and put some other color that would be reflected from the sky in there, but I can always do that afterwards. I don't know how this is going to work. I've never done this before, but I've been wanting to do it for a while, so do what I will. kind of feel like it should make beautiful waves that look like water even if it's in black and white I don't know how I'm gonna get away with it yet I do know that I'm looking at this recall that the larger ball chain makes very gray areas and that I have smaller ball chain in a nice I'm going to move that right over to the edge of my canvas, so if I, you know what, I really want an edge catcher and I know I have some, so it's time to um, stop, stop messing around and get one. I'm going to throw that big ball chain right in the bucket. Edge catchers are just plastic sheeting that come as part of a protective layer. So I do have GAC 800 in all my paints if I wanted to. If I wanted to, I could leave. <laughs> I can't focus and do that at the same time. I could leave everything thick. I kind of want to do this with blue, to tell you the truth. I can't believe I used too much paint. <laughs> That's That must have sounded funny. Because I'm sure there's plenty of times I have. So this is still very cool and very ocean-like, and um, I'm not giving up yet. I just started. I'm not sure why I turned it upside down your way. I guess if I had spread it first in stripes, that might have been a different way to go. But I've always liked the patterns that the chain makes, and it's always looked like water to me. So I'm going to pull that canvas forward again. And even though, you know what I am going to do? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to push my canvas back, and put my edge catcher down on the tile so I don't have to um, waste any paint. I'm tipped up in the wrong direction. I'm going to use my timer to, to prop my canvas up. Gosh, I've wanted to do this forever. I'm so glad I'm getting to do it right now. I was never sure how it was going to be, but I thought it would be interesting. And I have a really long piece of chain, and it's not what I'm used to using, so I'm going to lead it right to the edge and let the, the loop that swallowed the rest of the paint deposit the paint down over the side. I could put some blue in this, and I'm tempted to do that. I don't want to keep going if I have nice patterns, and I have nice patterns, and I don't want to put any more paint in there. And the one thing I haven't done with a chain pull that I keep threatening to do is to tilt. And I do want some paint down at the bottom, so I guess I'm going to take a chance and let all that go down. And then I'll put the chain back in again. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. This might be a nice source for a cliff or a land, land mass too. I can just push that over. This is interesting. Nope, timer out of the way. Yeah, okay. So my theory is that I'm gonna put a, a, a sort of a pink and gray sky in 
but I got to figure out what I'm what I'm doing down here without destroying all this gorgeous stuff that just happened when I tilted and still make it look like water which it was looking way more like a cliff which I'll have to remember for another time because that's just not what I'm doing right now I wonder what I can do with a skewer probably all kinds of things because I got plenty of practice I think I'm going to put a line of white in there. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to facilitate. I love this color. It's expensive, but I've got a lot of it. And uh, if it happens to make a fabulous sky, so be it. And if I happen to tilt in that direction, why am I moving my paint off of my table? Let's just go ahead let all that fall forward. It's not fast enough. I'm going to I'm going to very gently swipe with my large silicone spatula. And unless I'm completely in love with it, which I might be. I'm loving seeing the pet cells pop. Oh, look at that. I got some of the color in my water I was expecting. And I don't mind it. I really just want to roll my skewer in some of that heavy paint and move it right up there to the horizon line, which I kind of like to be blue. And that's so cool that I spilled that paint in there. I didn't even notice until I looked just now. But, in any case, back to the, uh, the sky at hand. With plenty of paint falling down over the side. I've wanted to combine the, uh, the iridescent with white to see what would happen for quite a while. I don't mind if there's a little bit of black and gray in the sky at all with the pink. That would actually be kind of awesome. That was something that was in the back of my head, a plan. I want to make sure that I get all the pink all the way down to the horizon line before I decide what's going to happen with that ocean. I could swipe down in that ocean, that black and white sea. I've done a, I've done this ski, this colorscape before, and I know I can drag spatulas through there and be fairly successful. Right now, I'm trying to make up my mind what's going to happen at that horizon line, and since I seem to have quite a bit of paint. I'm thinking I should just go ahead and keep removing it from above by swiping across because it's going to be beautiful no matter what and then I'll just squeeze it down in. I'm still tempted by a color at the top or at the horizon line, my top, your bottom. Oh look, I need to steal some paint to cover my edge. And I have a basting brush, which might answer all of my problems. Even though I wanted to use the chain, that's not necessarily what's going to happen at this point. I do love doing the pink sky with the white. I do want to make sure that I don't have any canvas showing. I could very easily let some paint fall down off my spatula right there where I see a little canvas. I want more. <laughs> Give me more. There's a part of me that just wants to plop a orange sun right in the middle and spread it out in the sky, but I think my priority right, right now, in my head at least, other than putting a white cloud in there, which I really want to do, And I see a little bit of canvas too. All right. 
So, as much as I like white clouds, this is supposed to be a chain pull. So I'm going to let myself have a little chain pull. So I don't think I'm going to get the rest of what I was hoping for at all. And the only thing that might make it interesting is, well, I can't really say that. I was going to say the cloud, but the cloud's pretty cool, but the ocean is pretty neat too. So should I dare? I have I have several of these. I think the smaller one is going to be first. And I saw that naked canvas there. And I'm going to pull right across to make sure I don't have any more. I want a dark horizon line. And if it has to be blue, then I'm going to let it be blue. I don't know if that's a good idea or not at this point. That is one flimsy skewer. I must have been soaking that in some water or something. So I'm just sort of playing it by ear right now. Because I can, the name of my book at the Amazon, like, yeah, I know. I am a weirdo. It's okay. I'm just trying to make a living, sort of, kind of. Came close. Please don't do that. What? I'm recording. So I like that, and I don't mind adding a little bit of it. I don't know if that's really what I wanted to do, but I don't think a little is going to hurt anything. I've got some great patterns in the water. I'm afraid to keep adding patterns in the water though, because I really think enough is enough. sure there's no canvas showing anywhere and maybe I wonder there we go there's my round front spatula just wondering if I have a heavy enough layer of paint up there if I can borrow some for my cloud and maybe make some other cloudy sky sort of striations with it still want that orange in there. It's it's kind of nice. I mean, it's not <laughs> it's not flat. It's not level. Okay. But it will be when I'm done with it. I think. Pretty sure it won't matter that there's a little pink in there considering it's in the sky. Nope, I like it. It's fine. I really want to drop some of that turquoise in there, just because. Because I like to play with ideas that come to me. And I can put whatever I want in the ocean. I still may do what I threaten to do, which is put that orange streak in the sky. But I like just adding a drop or two of the pink. I kind of wondered if I could 
put some in a container and then just dip in and paint paint with the uh, silicone basting brush. It's very modified if you're stopping by for the first time. It only has one row left out of four or five. I like the little bit of pink that came down from the sky in the water because it looks like there's white caps in the back. And I think I'm going to do that again over here. I'd like to put a little sailboat on the horizon, but I'm not sure that that wouldn't uh, be counterproductive for me if it didn't look quite, quite right. I've still got... I like the white. What can I say? I've got to have some more. I'm still not done with the idea. Oh, and I have just a minute left. Okay, well. I don't mind the idea of adding some texture either. Although Floetrol is known to flatten out the paint. That's what it's for when you're using it as a in the painting industry. I think I want some white pearl in there because I can have it and it will change up the color and the texture tomorrow. I'm so tempted. Am I going to do it? Oh boy. I'm <laughs> not if it doesn't have, if it doesn't come out I'm not doing it. It's not coming out. All right, so I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you. And uh, I'm going to say if you shop my Amazon link at no added cost, you it helps me out. I have a book on that Amazon link called Because I Can. It's the first hundred YouTube videos I recorded. And what else? And you can find underneath the video, you can find um, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And if you're looking to potentially have your name drawn as the winner of a monthly drawing, you can add $10 to the donation that keeps me painting, and I really appreciate that. I appreciate everybody who's ever done that, for sure, for sure. I like this pink, and I'm going to have some of it. more major way. It's not bothering me here. Kind of wonder if I should have some yellow in there. If I can have some yellow in there. Time will run out, and you will be gone, and I will not have told you everything I was supposed to because I'm too focused on what I'm doing, so please pardon me. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you're looking for more videos, you can find them uh, by going to one of the boxes on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video, which is the same place you can find the, um, the exhibition video showing this month's prizes, whatever they might happen to be. Ted wave at the end. So I'm not unhappy with that. I kind of like it now. And I love you guys and there's 80,000 of you and you're going to be gone in a second and I set my timer for two minutes by accident. Automatic reaction. And I will torch my, I will warm up the painting just because I don't uh, like bubbles in my paint. And I don't think I need to play with a whole lot more in here. But it's not going to keep me from doing it either. All right. So I love you guys. Please come again. Uh, I'm so distracted by this painting. I had a good time, though. Thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again. I think I mentioned you can, if you want to donate, you can find a link to Zelly underneath where I do sell my artwork. And you can contact me via the email I provided right under the video. And if you're interested in a class, I give classes at this house in Spring Hill, Florida. I love you guys. I see that thing that does not belong and it wants to go away now.
Come on, thing. Come on out.